All right, guys, let's take a look at the series DC motor. We're going to do the diagram here on the page, and then we're going to hook up the motor in the shop and see how it runs. So we'll start off with the series DC motor. It has the two electromagnets, the first being the series. The series creates our field pole, and the labels on that guy are S1 and S2 for the series motor. And then all of these DC motors are always going to have the inside electromagnet. The inside electromagnet is the armature, and the armature has the brushes. The brushes sit on the commutator and allow that current to get into that rotating electromagnet. The labels on the armature are A1 and A2. I'm going to arbitrarily choose a polarity. I'm going to put a positive over here, and I'm going to put a negative over on this side. And that's as easy as it is to hook up the series DC motor. We have the outside magnetic field being the series, the inside mag magnetic field being the armature. Okay, let's do a quick little drawing and I'll show you how these guys are actually hooked up. So on the outside, we've got our two field poles. So one on one side, one on the other side. Wound around those field poles is this series winding here. So we have the series winding that is wound around a couple times and comes over, gets wound in the same direction on this side with the exact same number of turns. And then comes out for us to connect up. The two labels on that guy were S1 and the other side of that winding was S2. The inside electromagnet is called the armature. So the armature is that rotating electromagnet where we've got all these conductors or bars depending on the size of the DC motor all the way around. Each of those guys goes into the commutator. Commutator are the bars of copper that allow us to get current to flow on that rotating electromagnet. And we've got our brushes that sit on the commutator. And attached to those brushes are the conductors A1. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. A1. And on the other side, we've got A2. And A2 connects up to the other brush. So now let's see how this is going to hook up to our DC source. So I put the positive on the left-hand side. So we'll put our positive here. We'll put a negative over here. And it looks like I'm going from positive to S1. So I'm going to bring a lead over to S1. Then I've got S2 going to A1. So S2 is going to go to A1. And then A2 is going to go back to the negative of the source. And that's it. We're going to have current flowing from the DC source through the series winding, the exact same current through the armature, and back to the source. All right, guys, so let's take a look in the shop and see how this motor reacts when we hook it up. All right, guys, so let's start off with the, the series motor. So I've got, uh, let me just pan over here to show you where I'm getting my, uh, my power from. So my power supply is uh, just over here, and I've got a DC voltage here, and that DC voltage I'm gonna bring over to my DC motor. So. We're more interested in our connections here for our motor here. So I'm going to bring uh, my supply. So this is my positive supply. We're doing our series motor. So I'm going to say that this one is my S1. I don't know if that's my S1, but I'm just going to arbitrarily choose that one as my S1. I'm going to go from my S1, Sorry, for my S2 over to my A1. So the other side of the series winding is S2. One side of my armature is A1. So this physically connects into the brush, which is sitting on top of the commutator. And then the other side is just my return. So the other side of the armature, A2, is going to go back to the source. Now you can see that there's no physical load on this series DC motor. A series DC motor without a load is going to take off. There's nothing to regulate its speed. The current comes into that machine, the resistance is really low, 
and there's a counter EMF that develops once it starts to spin, but that counter EMF can't come in fast enough to reduce the current to the armature. So it should go faster and faster and faster. Let's see how it's gonna go. Oh, you can see that the motor is going faster and faster. Making me nervous there, so I had to shut off the uh, the power. So this thing just goes faster and faster and faster. There's nothing to regulate the speed of a series DC motor without a load.